Okay, so the guys at Torum have challenged me to see how quickly I can make a full track. Now, I'm only allowed to use the samples from my brand new sample pack. I won't be using any production or mixing techniques to get me there. Everything you hear is raw, unedited, straight out of the pack. Let's do it. Okay, let's start with the kick. Now, the kick is the foundation. Let's have a flick through this, just going randomly and see what happens. That's a very Mark Knight sounding kick. Let's go, let's opt for that one, yeah? Just dive in, that sounds fairly universal. Nice bottom end, lots of attack. It's a winner. Okay, we're gonna need a hook. Uh, that's gonna be uh, the focal point of the record. So let's dive into, let's go into organ loops and see what we got. Oh, that's nice and easy, he's in a couple of loops here. Nice. That is very Mark Knight. Let's have a bit of that. Let's work that in. Okay. Okay, now don't shoot me because I'm again staging. We're just going to throw something together to show you the USP of this pack. And that is, it's like a jigsaw. It all fits together nicely because it's comprised of basically my last year of records. Now, every year I do a sample pack. Now, I don't write the sample pack as I go. I basically deconstruct all the records I've made in that year and then give all the parts to you. I've had success with them. It's now now over to you. Right, next up, uh, let's go for a bass. Let's get a bass to match the uh, organ. Let's go into basses and have a flick through. I do believe there is a bass to match said organ. And there's a the bass, there you go. This is a, a jigsaw puzzle and if you find the right pit, parts it all fits together nicely okay let's just take that down and weave it all right that's what we've got so far there you go that sounds pretty solid to me next in let's get the rhythm section rocking okay let's, let's flick through some hats and see what works not bad Yeah, I like that. Let's go with source. That works. Let's layer that with that. A wee bit loud now. Let's pull it down a bit. Working. Okay, next up, let's get some percussion in the track. Let's get the mids of the rhythm section rocking, shall we? Maybe a bit too percussive what I'm thinking. Right, I like the, real, I like the first hit of that loop. That sounds wicked first conga in that loop is rocking. Okay, so let's go in and cut out the first conga so we don't want that. We just want this guy here. So get rid of that. Well, that gives us a nice punctuation in the groove. It's a wee bit loud, let's pull it down a bit. Sounds good to me. Right, okay, let's, let's flick through some more loops, shall we? Let's go to right the pack again. That rolls nicely. Let's have a bit of that in the groove, shall we? Yeah, let's come together. We've got a vibe there. I love to get, I really like to get hooks in my percussion. I think it's as important to have a hook in the rhythm section uh, as it is in the music, you know? So as many memorable parts as possible so that when you're playing a record, and just the drums come in straight away, you can identify what record is coming on, on next. Um, I'm a big fan of doing that. Just nondescript drums don't work for me. So there's loads of really interesting hooky parts in this percussion. Uh, so there's no need to ever have nondescript drums ever again. Right, percussion. So that's that's a couple of loops in there. I reckon we could squeeze uh, one more in there. Let's have a flick through. Let's see what else we've got in there. I 
quite like the cowbell we sounded that we don't want the deep noise but i quite like the accent of the cowbell so let's cut that out I don't need the rut, I don't need the, the low part, I just like the cowbell sound, so. I don't need the bottom end, so let's just get rid of that. Gosh. Get that a loop. Now, and also let's take out the bottom end, we definitely don't need that. That's about as much EQing as we're going to do in this quick tutorial. Right, so let's have a quick listen and see what we're saying now. So that's the vibe. I mean, we could go on and on and on, but I think we're getting there. Um, let's get something playing 16, you know, let's get the energy. I love um, putting shakers and uh, tambourines in my records. That's a big component uh, to any rhythm section that I make. So let's dive in uh, and find a good tambourine or something or shake or something playing 16s. Okay, let's dive straight in, just randomly jump in at any point and, and see what we got. Okay, let's play the track. A bit too busy. Not bad, a bit too subtle. Got a nice clap with it as well. Let's have a bit of that. Chuck that into the mix. We really don't want the kick or anything in this. We just need the shake and the claps pretty nice. So. That's a vibe. I'm feeling that. Right. I reckon there's room for one more. Again, randomly dive in. You could use all of these loops, but none of these are wrong. So we just flick through some loops randomly and they all work. There's no wrong or right there really. Um, I know they all interact because they all come from my songs, you know. Um, they're tried and tested. I've used them in all my productions over the last year or 18 months. So they're all going to be there or thereabouts. I randomly dived in and picked a few and we got a vibe. We definitely, definitely got a vibe. Now, when I was putting the sample pack together, I wanted it to have an edge. I wanted it to have vocals that are really usable. So I did a couple of vocal sessions with people I work with all the time. Laura Davey, um, uh, who's worked, featured on many of my tracks, If It's Love, um, for example. She came in and did loads of great hooks for us. Uh, let's dive in and find some vocals from her. And also uh, from Franco, who's uh, a brilliant artist, does loads of spoken word stuff. I work with him all the time. Uh, got those guys in, recorded a load of hooks. Let's jump in and find uh, something for this track. Like a glove, the syncopation on that and the vibe of that is perfecto. So let's work that in. Well done, Franco. That sounds awesome. That fits like a glove, my friends. Right, next up, I think we could probably have a female vocal. Let's get Laura in there as well, bouncing off that for just vibe, yeah? So let's have a quick look, see what we got. Love you. I believe in the power of love. This is my music now. Uh, now, there's not a lot of room uh, for other vocals, but I think we could definitely get a texture of Laura in there. Now, when I was auditioning that, I heard something right at the beginning of this I thought was quite cool that might work in a kind of almost percussive way, like the very start of this. Now, that could play every bar, surely. Let's give that a go. I was going to get into it, I put a little room reverb on that, proper vibey, nice syncopation, 
jumps off the vocal, adds another texture to the record. So that's Laura and Franco now in the track. Now I definitely think there's room for another hook in the track musically. Let's dive into the synth loops or piano loops. I think more synth loops for this to play off the organ um, and see if we can find something that might work with the organ. That works. I mean, it's not in tune. It's, we can tune that. It's not a problem. But I like the way that sits in the groove. Let's just tune that up a bit. Thank you there. I think we have a record on our hands. Next up, we're going to probably need uh, something sustained, something here like a string or a pad, just giving you uh, that energy. It fills in the gaps. I love to use pads um, and strings and things, especially after the second breakdown, when you're going into the pinnacle of the record. It's about creating suspense and tension and energy without filling it full of loads of parts. Now, the best way to do that is to fill up the sonic spectrum uh, with sustained elements um, and in all my previous packs, that's done really well. I hear those kind of things featured a lot. Um, so let's dive into the pads and pick out something that's going to work for this. Okay, let's drag it into the track, put it in tune, and set it in the mix. Now you could go up or down with this, really. Um, entirely up to you. Um, I'm going to go up. So it's, um, I think we've got some space up here. Okay. Send me toes up, I'm just in the mix. You only want to hit it. Now you can put that wherever you want in the mix, you know, depending on where you are in the arrangement. Perhaps after the second drop, you want it more vocal. If you just want it in there as a texture, filling in the gaps as a kind of ghost sound, um, just filling out the kind of sonic spectrum without adding lots of pass. That's coming together nicely now. We've got lots of hooks in there. We've got vocal hooks, we've got melodic hooks, we've got effects. I think we're probably at a point now where we could probably add in a few effects and sketch it into some sort of arrangement. Again, just to get a vibe to see if this record works. The best way I do that, if I'm putting together an idea, I might be set on a plane or whatever, is I'll create a 32 bar um, section, 16 bar groove and 16 bar breakdown and just loop it and see if it works. If that it hits you and uh, when it comes back in from the drop, does it make sense? That's the easiest way to know if a record's gonna work for me. So let's set up that kind of arrangement. Okay, so I think we're in a good place. We've got a rocking 16 bar groove. Um, I think we should sketch it out. Let's put it into a 48 bar arrangement. Let's have a 16 bar intro. 16 bar breakdown and then uh, a 16 bar outro to see if this works. Before I do that, as much as I love the tempo of 1 2 2, because that's really where the groove lives, I think we could probably up it to 1 2 4 on this, just get a wee bit more energy. I think it'd be a bit more reflective of what the parts are doing. So let's just change the tempo. Uh, let's sketch this out to 48 bar arrangement. There we go. And before we start putting effects, uh, and fills and stuff in it, which we will do. Um, as you see, I'll grip the drums up. Um, let's put an instance of Infinite on the master to give us that instant gratification and feel of what a breakdown could look and feel like. Now, we don't want anything too mental, so let's go into, let's go into risers. Uh, up, up and away is relatively subtle, but enough to show what this record's gonna do. So let's pop that on the master. It's a bit basic, but like I say, this is all just about getting a vibe um, and not getting too caught up in the in the detail of producing the record. Right, let's go up, up and away. That should do the trick. Okay, now let's start to arrange it. Let's take out the vocal. Um, in the intro, don't need that. Let's take out the pad. Don't need that. That can all come in on the drop. I always call the drop as it goes into the breakdown. I'm a bit old school. Right. <laughs> Nothing can compare with this love of fear. Oh. 
Okay, uh, what I'm going to quickly do is uh, go into the pack again and grab a ride just to give it a wee bit more production on the outro. Nothing too mental, uh, but we haven't highlighted rides and some really good ones in there. So let's, um, let's grab one of those randomly. It's a bit audition. That's nice, gong's cool. Let's just tune that a wee bit. Down the semitone. Happy days, that gives us that kind of peak of the track type feel. Okay, the next move we're gonna make is we're gonna dive in, grab some effects, and let's start with a, a riser, which you can find in one shots. If you go one shots and effects, um, there's some awesome risers in there. All the packs previous to this have had loads of killer effects. We've done the same thing here, put a lot of um, time and attention into getting some really, really killer rises and snare rolls, all of that in there. So if you want drama, this is the pack you need. Right, let's have a quick flick through this. Let's just dive in randomly um, and find one. Nice. Let's Like that one that lands on the off, let's pop that in. That always works, that's a bit of a, a trick that I use all the time. So let's whack that in there. Okay, that's one. Okay, let's add one more in this time. So I get a little bit more tonal. Yeah, I know that one, let's pop that in. Lands on the off as well, so that will land with that work with the other one. Happy days, sweet. What's that now saying? Cool, that sounds good. Let's add a snare roll in, um, and then I think we are there. Let's dive in, see what we've got. Sounds good, it's not beat around the bush, just get one in. Should do the trick, turn it down a wee bit. Okay, without getting too involved in the production, I'm just gonna add a little bit of filtering to the drums, to the perk, just to get a bit more impact to feel if this is really rocking. Um, we could go on forever and ever, but let's just do that for the sake of, for the sake of doing it. Okay, without getting too stuck into the production, while I've got you, let me just show you also what uh, Infinite can do, as well as it being great for transitions. The delay uh, presets on that are brilliant uh, and super usable. So I'm just gonna do a quick cut on the vocal um, and show you how that can work. Two secs, bear with me. Okay, so what I've done is I've just looped the last line of the phrase, so it does this. Nothing too mega, but just to get a bit of vibe. Okay, without getting too far into the production, as I said, loop the last uh, word in the phrase. Let's grab an instance of infinite. Now there's some wicked delay shots in here. It's really got to use this all the time um, because it's not just straight delay. There's a little bit of saturation, a little bit of reverb 
it makes it well vibey. Um, if you go, obviously I know these presets, if you go into um, shots and inserts, go to uh, a simple Kilimanjaro, that'd be the one we need for this. So let's pop a wee bit of that on the channel. Just for vibe, and then I think we're there. Okay, so there you go. Within 20 minutes, we have a vibe. We've got a record. We've got the basis of what could be my next single and what could be yours. Um, as I said, all of these sounds are derived from the records I've made over the past year, 18 months. So I know all the sounds interact. That's the key uh, to any great record is sound design, and it should co come together easily. Uh, Within this project, we didn't get involved in too many plugins apart from Torm's Infinite, and that was more to show you what uh, that can do, use a little bit of EQ, but that's it. Um, now it's over to you guys. I've had fun with all these parts. Let's see what you can come up with. Uh, Torm Trademark 5 uh, Mark Knight is out now on Splice. Grab yourself a copy, and I look forward to hearing the hits.